Hello there, it's, you know, this channel I sometimes make videos on. It's been like three years since, also this plant's dying. I kind of just have it here because I just don't want to move at this point. But I probably should, like, try and help at some point. But whatever. The pothos is doing well, and that's all that matters. Well, anyways, I'm making this video for a pretty simple reason. My old video from three years ago is, like, the second most viewed video on the species. And it's kind of bad. So I feel bad that that video exists, and I want to, you know, make a new video. So let's see, can we find him? He's not there. Is he there? No. So that means he's definitely in here. Oh, yep, there he is. It's it's my boy, Ragnarok. You all know him. He's, see, he, he he's not healthy back in the day when he wasn't healthy. Oh, he's currently in shed. Hey, sorry, sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Stop being, stop being so, 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 so aggressive, Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, see, I, 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 I love his little noises. You gonna bite me, bro? He's a bit more aggressive, because, you know, back in the day, he wasn't aggressive, because he wasn't as healthy. But him being aggressive is probably good, because it means he's healthy, and I, I just don't really mess him as much. So, you like, me, like, me picking him up, this is a rare occurrence. If I can even do that, that'd be fun. Yeah, so we're just gonna torture it. Not really, this is not torture, he's fine. Don't, don't, oh no. Ugh. Yeah, see, he likes to, anyways, I'm gonna stop messing with him now. You can go back in here. So yeah, it's been a while. So I, I wanna update, like they, since he's a bigger species than most than most Kalyonix, let's just go over their care, right? I'd say, like, look at his size. He's like a small leopard gecko, so you should probably keep him in a 20-gallon just because at night they do move around a lot. Like, he does like to explore his tank a lot, so I have him in a 24 by 18 by 18. No, 24 by 18 by 12, my bad, yeah. And he does he does utilize it pretty well. Like look, like, look at that little anger. That's, that's pure, that's pure anger in his eyes. Pure. Anyways, on the note of tanks, I also, um, I don't know if tanks does, yeah, 24 by 18 by 12. Then for, um, he, I use a heater underneath his, like, human hide just so it's a little warmer there. But I also use a, uh, what's that? Ceramic, ceramic heat emitter. My brain's blanking out. So yeah, I use ceramic humor to keep him warm. I only have it on at night because he doesn't really need it on during the day because he doesn't explore as much during the day. So yeah, I'm really I'm really annoying him by forcing him out of his tank in the, in the day. So yeah, that's half things. Then as for humidity, I've gotten to the point where um I keep it not super humid, but you know like subtropical humid. So it's like um similar to a crusty gecko. You have a crusty. I, 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 try, I try to keep it pretty humid. I have a mister right there that goes off, like, every eight hours for about, like, 16 seconds. And then I and then I water the plants regularly. I try to make the tank bioactive, but I'm not the best at keeping plants alive. There's some bugs in here that's, like, running around, like, isopods or whatever. Those aren't bugs, but you get my point. And they kind of do their job. Not really. They don't eat the urine, so I still have to clean out urine, which is annoying. Um, he's about, I got him when he was like little or, so I think he was a year when I got him, so he's like four years old now. He's a big boy, he's angry though. As for food, I feed him a mixture of crickets, dubias. He doesn't really like mealworms, honestly, so um, you can, you can probably feed them mealworms, but mine, but mine won't eat them. He only eats dubias and crickets, and sometimes like isopods if you can catch them. Uh... As for heating, you should keep, like, you should try to give them a warm spot of around, like, 85 degrees, if you can. Like, colder than a leopard gecko, but, you know, warmer than, like, a cave gecko, if you know if you know about that. Also, just for fun, look, it's Dromagander, my Eurydactyl of Valiori. I keep, keep blanking out. Well, anyways, what else is there? This is a pretty makeshift video that I've just made. Um... I mean, obviously you should dust their food. Like I, I feed him twice a week because he's an adult. So I get I feed him once on Monday and once on Thursday. That's just how my feeding schedule is. And he doesn't need to eat more often than that. And he's still pretty good. Like 
they're not supposed to be fat. Like, you see him, he's actually a pretty thicker on the side of Bandit. Because you don't want your reptile fat and stuff. So, yeah. He's not the happiest of fellows. See, look, look back there. Hey, there. But, yeah. And, um... I get, you, sh you should obviously feed them, like, stuff that's moderately their size. But he can choke down some pretty big things. Not like an adult doobie, but he can choke down, like... So, yeah. Uh, what else is there on this thing? Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's been, like, three years since I got him, and... He's gone through a bit, like, I kind of feel bad for him, because he went through a period where he was, like, really, um, unhealthy, because I didn't know how to care for him when I first got him, and for that, I feel, uh, bad and stuff, but now I feel like I, I take decent care of him, because he's all big and stuff. Like, parts of his skin got ripped off, because I didn't know how to properly keep humidity, since there's, like, not many, um, sources on these guys that I could find back in the day. I still don't know if they because I just don't really check it, check as often, because now it just kind of, it just kind of works. But yeah, hope this video helps, and um, it's, it's, I personally would suggest keep, try to keep them in like a naturalistic terrarium, like, I, I don't like that all, the get off their nest, no, yeah, that's my cat annoying me, but anyways, I would, I would just recommend keeping them in like a naturalistic terrarium, and try not to, um, keep them in some, like, bare tank like I used to, I, I, I feel bad for doing that, honestly, because he, He's way more active in this tank than he ever was in that tank. Because I think he, he feels a lot safer because he has, like, the cover and everything. So, yeah, they, they, they do like their cover. So, yeah. That's the mostly updated care on the Conic Metriotis. Just to run down it again. They should have a hot spot of around 85 to 88. They should be fed. Uh, you, you, you can alternate. Like, I do twice a week, but you could probably do three times a week or four if you, if you do, like, smaller meals. Um, their humidity should be around, like, 70 to 60, no, 60 to 70 percent, and then they're nocturnal, so you, so it's best to probably feed them at night, like I do, and then, um, I keep UVB on my reptiles, it's not required for these guys, but it's healthy for them, and yeah, that's, that's basically it, I also water and I, I keep a calcium there so he likes to put stuff in just in case he ever needs calcium like people do with other geckos anyways this is a cool this is a cool species not as known they're from like central america which is pretty cool